Hello everyone. So I have one plan for today and one plan only. Let's get this recorded all the way through correctly. <laughs> all right. So for today's sketch, this is another one of those ones that just has a blog post, does not have a video. Um, so it might not be one you've seen before. I'm going to follow this sketch fairly like this with a couple of different changes. So one of the changes is that my photos are smaller. The other thing is instead of doing this strip across the top, I'm going to use these cute little clips. And my plan is to make it look like my photos are kind of clipped to these back things. These back. The other thing that I'm going to change here is I'm not seeing a lot of embellishment opportunities. And so my thought process is that one embellishment is, is going to go here, um, one cluster here, one cluster here, and then one up here to create like a nice triangle that your eye can follow. And maybe some other bits and pieces, I'm not sure. So for whatever reason, I am uh, gravitating towards puppy photos right now. Um, yeah, puppy photos. I don't know. Okay, so that's kind of where I gravitated towards again. So I have three photos of our puppy when we first got him back in January. He was tiny. And I pulled out this collection from Wild Whisper called Fur Babies. So I have that to kind of look through and decide how I want to put that together. I have my little clips. I pulled out a doily because I thought it would be fun to place one of these photos on a doily. And then I pulled out some flare. Um, I'm trying to kind of get through some of my older stash a bit. And uh, I thought this flare would be cute. I grabbed um, three. And my thought process was that maybe they could be like part of the photos. You know, like I could actually place them on the photos. Almost like, uh, what's the word? Almost like a phrase sticker or something like that because they all have wording on them. So we'll see how that goes. And I know that I'm probably going to have to pull in a couple, some more embellishments, but I'm not sure, quite sure where I'm going to pull those from or what I'm going to pull from. I'll just kind of see how my process goes and choose from there. So I'm going to start by going through this collection, pulling out the stuff I think I want to use, and then going on with my process. You can find the blog post for this sketch down below along with all of my social media links and let's get going. Okay, so everything that I said about creating clusters in a triangle, ignore all that because that's not what we're going to do. I'm going to use this paw print paper as my background. I'm going to cut down a sheet of textured light gray paper. This is just cardstock and it is a light gray color. I know it looks, ends up looking really, really, really white on this, on the video, but it's really in real life kind of a light gray. So I'm inking up all of my edges today using Hickory Smoke Distress Ink. I'm just going to give everything a really nice, um, coat of that to give it some definition off of my background paper and then I'm going to glue, taper or you know glue it down right to the middle just like that. What I'm ultimately going to decide to do here is I'm going to use each of these little squares almost like their own mini layouts. So I have cut the, this paper down to three and three quarters by three and three quarters and then uh, my papers the that text paper is three and a half by three and a half. I know that my final photo is three inches squared. So I'm just grabbing my scissors here. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut this bone that you can see there on the cut apart sheet. And then I'm going to put my photo down as my last uh, layer on this page. So you'll notice here what I'm kind of doing is I'm collecting all of these bits and pieces to one corner or one side of my layout. And I'm going to do this because I'm going to add those clips. So on the layout it's going to look like these elements are all clipped together. I did put tape runner on them to make sure that they wouldn't, you know, they're not actually clipped, but <laughs> it's faux clipping. And 
then I'm just gonna continue on. I'm gonna make two more of these and the little flares are gonna work perfectly. I'm gonna use all three of those flares that I had picked out and I'm going to stick them into different parts of the layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep cutting down these squares of paper and adding layers to them. This one's gonna get layered with that doily and this little flare that says darling. And again, I'm gluing the layers on top of each other, but making sure that there is one corner or one area where they all kind of meet together. And that allows me to clip them all together then. I think this turned out really lovely. I love all the layers I was able to get. And then the little clips were perfect. They worked really, really well for what I intended them for. And in the end, because I ended up layering these all together, they really, I didn't need to worry about a clusters. Um, or it turned into a much kind of cleaner layout a little bit. And so now for my third one, same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and start layering up pattern papers and little um, embellishment areas. This one got more of a even border around the photo just to keep it different. I also added a branding strip to the top of that square and then I'm gonna cut this cut apart sheet down so I just have one of those cute little paws. I have the black bone so I wanna make sure that I add little bits of black throughout this layout so that that black bone doesn't become too stark. So you can see here how I'm just layering them all together, finding a common place to collect them all, adding that clip, and then I'm going to go ahead and add this flare. So my title is going to be right here. It's going to be Love is a Four-Legged Word, and I made it really simple. I didn't add layers to the title. I wanted it to kind of stand out a little bit. And instead of adding journaling below the title, what I'm gonna do is, okay, so I'm gonna back up a little bit and tell you about these photos. These pictures were all, these pictures were all developed at Persnickety Prints. They are the press prints. Uh, they're three by three. They come with that white border. And what the press prints allow you, you to do is they're not on phot photographic paper. They're on this like heavy, heavy cardstock paper. And you can write on them and you can stamp on them. And they take the ink just exactly the same way paper does. Um, but they're just, they're beautiful. They're really heavy weight. They're well, I mean, the, the pictures are well printed on the picture, on the paper. It's really nice. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And each one of these photos is going to get the date it was taken. And then the one at the top left is going to have a little bit of journaling because that was our puppy's first vet appointment. But other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and stamp the date these photos were taken. They were taken at all different times, just over the first couple of days we had our little doxy puppy. So. so I'm gonna show you here how this works. I am just taking one of my date stamps. I picked one I kinda liked. I'm gonna sta damp date stamp it. I wanted to show you this part because I, for whatever reason, the 31 in December would just not stamp correctly. So I wrote it in and it turned out perfect. Now it's time just to put these four squares onto my page. I'm going to use my T-square ruler to keep everything lined up to the best of my ability. So I'm not really great. I have a crooked eye and I'm not really great at lining things up. The T-square ruler definitely helps, um, but I'm not going to say with any kind of certainty that um, everything's perfectly plumb, as it were. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use that T-square ruler to help me get everything about lined up and then go ahead and glue them down. And here are some close-ups of the layout. I think this one turned out really, really cute. I really like how I was able to create with this sketch and how gorgeous this layout really did end up looking. I'd love to see your takes on it. Be sure to tag me in it if you play along with any of Chamel's sketches uh, that I've used in my series, and you can catch the blog post down below. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye!